here. Oh, little buddy. Look at this little guy. It's a little mouse, look. Look at him. Oh, buddy. What are you doing? <laughs> look at you. What a good little boy. Look how cute, folks. There he goes. You better get up in there. You better get up in there. Some, something's going to eat you. Let's get you up here. Here you go, buddy. Look, they're going. Aww. <laughs> Later. This is right in where I found that Mississippian point, that little tiny bird point. Triangle. And right there's a piece of Mississippian cultural period pottery. Nice piece. It's just a shard. But an artifact. Later. Yeah, I just picked up this weird little thing. It's like a square little tool. There's a piece of the cortex. It's heat treated. It's some kind of little tool of some kind. You can see it's worked. Nothing to brag about. Later. Alright, I'll show you this real quick. This is pretty good for learning. See this gravel? 98% of this is river gravel. It's just straight up gravel. And then you'll come in here and you'll see these little fractured pieces of sandstone. That's heated. Come up into here. Now do you see more? See where the water's touched it and it's washed out? Here's more. See how it's red and fired and cracked up and got black spots on it? Here's another piece. This is from ancient campfires. You have to be able to identify that and see right with it, there's flakes. Right there's a flake. Um, come a little farther. This is rock here. Fire rock. So you want to be looking for this. This is last minute, last second. Just put my sifter on my thing. And I must have missed this in my screen or it flipped up. There's a little Madison laying right here. I got a point. And I've been out here three hours and haven't found, well, I've been finding pottery and stuff. And flakes and Indian activity. But I got it. The Madison don't look great, but it's another tiny one. Just like, see, two pieces of pottery. Lots of flakes. Just ain't getting nothing. Now look right here. And this is my throw out piles. They've been pushed around. But do you see the point? And I mean, I'm just going home. Haven't found nothing all day. And this surely looks like a Madison right here. Just like the last one. Let's see. Oh, it is, folks. And it's perfect. Oh, basil. Folks, I can't even believe it. Thank you upstairs, whoever was feeling sorry for me right there's another little tiny madison basal thinning strikes just about like the last one i found i'll get these out and show you how close this is there's a good bit of stuff here you saw i got two pockets full of flint and see my throw out piles where i was scraping up in here i'm fine there's stuff here it's just all this gravel you got to take your time there's a little bird points here um man no way, last second. Here's this little point I found. I just found one of these. You can see how this basal thinning strike come off to facilitate hafting. And see that odd base with the little indentation on one side? I just found one within the last week on my channel in the same spot. And look, it's got that little recurve on the base and it's purposeful. It's probably for the hafting process. Maybe that was how they were tying it on and on this point you can see catch that sinew to come up. It's just I'd have to look at them more but that's pretty odd. Th these points came from five feet away. I'm on a pretty nice Mississippian cultural period site and here in this trip I found this stuff too. You can see here's the pottery that's made by the same culture. Just shards you can see how the edges are rounded off. This is rolled around in the surf there from boot action. That's the inside of the pot, darker. That's the outside, several pieces. Um, all the little holes in it are what it was tempered with and it's leached away. I'd say the shell, it would have been shell right there, busted up muscle shell, but that's the outside of the pot. That's the inside of the pot. That's thousand, close to thousand year old pottery. Um, I found this in this trip too. It's some kind of little work piece, nothing to brag about. I just throw that in a bucket. But this point here is pretty nice. It's a little true bow and arrow shot projectile from the Mississippian cultural period. It's called a Madison. 
M-A-D-I-S-O-N. You can research the points. But this would have been on a little arrow and shot with a little bow. For small game, one this size. You know, that would get a couple guys hunting. Get That would take down a deer, especially one this size. And here's the last one I found. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and here's some more of them. I just got this frame out because these are going in. And there's other ones in here off that same site. Um, I just found this one there, too, on the same beach. It's not bad, you know. I'd rather be finding Amos points and stuff, but th these are nice little points for what they are. They're really well made. You can see almost every one of them stand. See, here's another one. They're nice. They're made well. Well, I hope you enjoy, um, and thanks for watching. Later. You see this beach here? How it looks like there's not much here. Come out in the water. There's a piece of there's a piece of burn up fire rock. There's just a very trace amount of stuff here. Now you come up here and see where the water's lapped up on the shore. Now look down here. Right here is a little tiny flake, finishing flake from the manufacture of an ancient artifact, and that is Flint Ridge, right there. A pressure flake from the manufacturer of probably an arrowhead. Right here is a piece of Coshocton. Little tiny finishing flake from Coshocton County, Ohio. It's a really popular material used by native cultures. Then you come over here and there's a little, another little finishing flake of some kind of smoke translucent stuff. You have to be able to identify that. You think of, if you're finding points on a place, they were all manufactured and watch a napper look at the ground around him there's just him busting down a core if he's doing all that from scratch there's flakes everywhere um and a lot of these were probably bigger but they get washed around down here and they're thin and they break apart but these were definitely just pressure flakes if you see you want to be able to see that there might not be a lot of fire rock um but on the best spots, there's lots of fire rock. That means there was campfires there, and there was Indians sitting around there for a long, long time. The more fire rock, the more they were sitting around there. And that's where the personal items were lost. The caches are buried, all of that. So I hope that helps. That's just it in a nutshell. Come up here and look at this stuff. Look at where the waves have washed up onto the beach. You're going to see them tiny pressure flakes because the water moves them a lot easier than the other stuff. Picks them up and throws them up on the beach during a wave. Later, see 15 steps farther. See the cracked up rock? It's red and black. It's all been fired. See how it's got fractures all over it? It's porous. There's moisture in it. When it's heated, the moisture bubbles off and blows the rock apart. See it all in here? That's all Indian campfire rock, this ancient. See how red that piece is and see all the fractures on it? That's from busting apart under heat. I hope this helps you because this is, this is what you want. You want to look at all of this stuff. Look at it out in here. Later. All right, we're going to pick a winner here real quick for the Schimbach and Raymond beer bottles. I found this one in my last upload on the river. Got them all cleaned up gonna make a nice pair for somebody get YouTube comments I filter duplicate users so people can't comment more than one time and get multiple entries so it's 313 so everybody that commented has an equal chance to win as is with all my giveaways pick a random winner right here we go Brenda Spoon the brown bottles were awesome I hope you feel better soon Stay low for a while. Well, I'm back to normal, Brenda. The only bad thing is it's raining. We're getting that after effects of one of these tropical storms. And I mean, the ground's just saturated. River's going up. The dump's too soap. So at least I, had, I sucked it up and went yesterday and got a video here for you guys. But congratulations. I don't remember ever seeing you comment before, but I appreciate you watching my videos. As with all of you people. Will be another nice giveaway for some stuff this week. Maybe some arrowheads and some bottles. All you have to do is comment on my videos and it's random like this. I'm going to do a bunch. 
three or four of them a month from now on. So congratulations, Brenda, and enjoy the rest of the video, folks. Look here. Somebody had to go in his cage for a while. He usually just runs loose in here. He don't bother nothing. But somebody's been driving me nuts. Get up here. Watch this. You coming out? Look here. You have an escape plan, don't you, buddy? What's What do I got right here? What's this? What's this right here? You getting you some strawberries? Look here, folks. Here's my good boy. You was ready for some strawberries, wasn't you? Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's been rough going the last couple of days. I've been sick and the weather's been horrible. You know, I wanted to go dig marbles today, but I just can't do it. Um, it's just pouring the rain down, so. But here at the end of the video, I'll put up a couple of links to another channel. Green Bay Rock Huntress. She's getting started out and she's looking the shores of the Great Lakes. Um, she's going to come up with some pretty interesting things. She's real into rocks and minerals and, you know, there's going to be bottles there. It's hard to tell what she's going to find, so check it out. Um, she's really nice and she deserves a look. So, I'll yeah, just throw it down on the floor. Just throw it down on the floor, squirrel man. Look here. Who is this? Who's this? You gonna go hide in there? Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and make sure you check out the videos at the end. Later, folks.